all right what's going on everybody welcome back to king midas collects looks like i owe you guys a video i was supposed to do like two more videos this week time got away from me there's so much to do on uh, any given basis on top of a full-time job on top of taking care of sick kids and, and just having family time and then i wanted to schedule all this other stuff to do cataloging uh resetting up the books in in the in the garage adding books to deepbeingcollectibles.com and sorting through collections uh it's it's tough for one man to do it so i apologize for that but we are here so i'm gonna go over some more books as we always do on the channel hope you guys enjoy and there's a plethora of videos for you to check down in the catalog below so if you want to go back hit that time machine you know 2021 2022 time frame see what we we're picking up then you'll know that there's some fire some heat on this channel so uh we're gonna start off with something that we got from my comic shop they ended up was it my comic shop yeah they ended up throwing in one of these you guys ever bought these they, they used to have them at lcs's where they would hold these black and white figures you can buy them at walmart too but they are random so you can collect one of each of these and i think that the frank quietly one okay this isn't one of them where like there's a chase figure or anything like that but we're gonna open it up and see what we get so we have gleason darwin cook i would love the darwin cook one amanda connor jason fabic dick spraying og and frank quietly so which one did we get we got the frank quietly all right that's not bad frank quietly batman there you can tell that that is his artwork. Blanking on uh, the word that I want to use here for his likeliness. There it is, the likeliness, Frank Quietly. All right, so let's get into what we picked up. So first and foremost, let's go over what's just right in front of us here. We have some My Comic Shop books. No, 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 this is from the LCS this week, I believe. So we picked up the Invincible Iron Man number 10, of course, is the... Uh, Gatefold opening the wedding of Emma Frost and Tony Stark there. Then we have Moon Knight City of the Dead issue number three. I didn't get the EM Gist variant and I should have because that one's the nicer one. Tech 1074. Can't believe we're already on 1074. It's wild. Flash number one. So we always pick up Flash. Then we have the uh, Frizzin bubblegum cover for Harley 32. Yep, 32. And then we're going into some of the second prints, of course. Dark X-Men, second printing, cover A, of course, the 1 in 25, black and white Adam Hughes. Nobody has, so I don't even know <laughs> who was. It had to be people that were ordering because they knew that book was coming out. Hey, I'm going to order 25 copies and then just have the 1 in 25 to sell. What do you do with the other 25, copy, 20, 25 copies of that second print? Who knows? But I guess people have more um, disposable income to do stuff like that. Death of Venomverse, second print, issue number two there. That is um, reusing another cover, just color touching it. All right, so that was from the LCS. Then we have some things from uh, the 4K collection here. We're just going to show you. We got a 1 in 25 Cosmic Ghost Rider number four there. And then we have an issue number two. I think this is uh, Super Log. On that variant, this is just a cover B variant. The other one was a 1 in 25. I think same with this one is a, a cover, just a normal variant cover for issue number one on Cosmic Ghost Rider. And that, that was the uh, first solo series for Cosmic Ghost Rider. Next up, we have Ghost Rider number one from 2006, 2007, I believe, right? Issue number one there, Daniel Way, Mark Deshera. Flash 306 newsstand. Nice little Dr. Fate cover there. I don't know the significance of that, if there is any. We picked this up at the LCS. I bought this for $5, half off. Batman Ghost, Legends of the Dark Knight Halloween special because it's Jeff Loeb, Tim Sale. But I already have a copy of this. So this is the second one I have. Uh, for some reason, I just didn't think I had it. Then we're going to go back to that 4K collection here. Uh, this is issue number nine of Thor. This is the one in 25, Nick Klein, I believe. Then we have, I think this is the one in 25 for issue number eight. We have the second printing for issue eight. Just some cool covers. And of course, a lot of people had all these because they did multiple subsequent printings of issues one through six. 
So this is the fourth, or so, excuse me, the second printing of issue number five. Everyone wants that uh, Thanos cover where he's holding Mjolnir. Um, I believe that's issue number six. One of the printings there. I never had an issue number three. So uh, here's cover A for issue three. So that's kind of funny. I came, this is exactly when I came back into comics when issue number four was coming out and just like beeline all the Donny Kate stuff and super behind on all of it. Super behind. And then we have a third printing here for issue number two. This one was a big deal because of that Strange Academy preview as well. All right, uh, next pile. We'll probably end it after this. I think I need to make sure going forward that I get a video in as much as possible because uh, th these stacks right here, these are all books you guys haven't seen yet and I want to show you these books. So whether it's on Instagram or we're going to do videos on YouTube, that's how we're going to showcase the books to you guys. So make sure you're following King underscore Midas underscore collects on Instagram, posting on there as much as possible. We tried to do a claim sale today, but I actually ended up getting busy at the flea market. So I started it, didn't finish it. I'm going to post a video on there as well. So that's something that you can look forward to going forward in the subsequent weeks and months. All right, next up, this one is interesting because I've been waiting for this one. We got a Bird City order that finally arrived. And uh, we'll show you what we picked up. I always try to uh, pad out these orders so I get you know, the most bang for my buck. So this was the Megacon exclusive that they had for Sins of Sinister number one. This is the uh, EM Gist Megacon exclusive. So it does, it's the Virgin. So glad to have that one because it's, I mean, Sinister is badass and that's one of Gist's best in my opinion. Next up, oh, I guess we're moving into uh, different territory here. Let me get back to Bird City really quick. So this is the rest of uh, five total books from Bird City. We have this beautiful Red Sonia versus Vampirella cover here. I can't remember the artist on this one. But a Virgin, a Bird City exclusive. And this one uh, I was really excited for. And it was a metal cover. This is the Sonia Matas. And uh, she works with like a, it's like a dual artist team that makes these. But this is a metal on Draculina Blood Simple number five. Just gorgeous. Uh, I'll try to get a photo and post it on Instagram. Because this one is, you guys don't see it as well. You can't really see it as well with the glare and everything. And last but not least, we got two copies of this. I wanted to make sure I got a raw and also a graded copy of the David Nakayama Battle Chasers number 10. Beautiful virgin here. Awesome book. Glad to have it. But like I said, we also got it slapped. We got a slabby boy in the 9-8. Boom. Happy to have that in the 9-8. Nakayama goodness. Now... Here's the problem with it though. I'm looking it over. I was happy about it. And then I flipped to the back. And you guys might not be able to see it. But in the top right, you see that at the very top there? If you look at the top right corner, there is a piece of plastic sitting inside the well. So I'm like, uh-oh. That means that it was damaged some in some capacity. When I opened this box, I took a photo of it, sent it to him. There was no room. The bubble wrap wasn't wrapped around everything. So everything could shift in this priority mailer like this. There was that much room to shift. So if you take a look at the corner here, it is a little cracked. It's not the biggest crack in the world, but it is, it's cracked, you know, and you never want any of your slabs to look like that. So I contacted them on Thursday, I think when I got this in. And I haven't heard back from them. My problem is, again, as much as I love them and I will continue to support them, I just, I don't know why. Maybe you get that many emails, but I feel like in, in two days time, there should be some sort of like, hey, thanks for letting us know, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, in my head, I keep a tally. I keep a running tally of the days it takes for somebody to respond. And for something like this, like, hey, I'm not... Look, we all know that the post office is going to, they're not, they're fallible. They make mistakes often. They're not the best. They throw this shit around. 
my, my thing is, is the way that it was packaged. It should have been protected a little better. It literally rattled all over the place. Luckily, the raws were okay. But for it to, like, hey, for it to be only dinked a little bit is awesome. But it still got dinked. End of the end of day. So we'll see what the response is to that. But uh, again, I'm not, I'm not upset. I'm not... <laughs> I, I'm going to continue supporting them because they're awesome people, but it, it's just the, it's principle, right? I think everything needs to be handled accordingly. Anyway, that's my rant on that. Um, so still happy to have it in raw and in the 9.8. So let's go over to Sanctum Sanctorum. They were doing a buy two, get one free for New York Comic Con. So we scooped up a few things from them. Um, uh, but before we talk about that, let me talk to you. Let me show you this one because it's right here. But this is Infamous Iron Man issue number 12, a hard to find one in 25 the final issue. Alex Maleev Doom cover. This thing is sick as hell. Just Doom on this horse like that in the white. Man, it is so cool. Alex Maleev, goodness. Dude, I got this for 35. I thought it was a fake. I was like, I'm gambling by trying to pick this up for $35. Ended up being like 52 after the taxes and shipping. But all the other, like the the lowest other copy that I saw was like going for like $58 on bid. And a lot of other listings at $150,200. So I'm like, why is this one at, you know, nothing's wrong with the case. Um, somebody just had it low and maybe it spiked up again. But it is a hard to find book. A 1 in 25 on the final issue for that series. Even though it's Doom, uh, I think that one will appreciate in time. Be harder and harder to find. Uh, so let's go over to Sanctum Sanctorum now. So I didn't have this frizzin. Glad to have it. So uh, this is Grim, I believe issue number seven or eight. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but she did one of the covers for, uh, or not Grim, I'm sorry. Why did I say, this is Basilisk. Excuse me, excuse me, because she did a ton of covers for, for Grim. This is Basilisk. So another Boom Studios book. Then we picked up this... Uh, Frank Cho, Harley Quinn, issue number 30 for Halloween. So keeping, you know, keeping with uh, the holidays here. I really like uh, Jim, uh, is it May Food? Ma Food? Jim Ma Food? Uh, does like really abstract artwork, but he had a Ninjas and Robots issue number two, one in 25. So I, I really, really like his style for whatever reason. It's got like that Ashley Wood school of... Uh, abstractness that i enjoy so pick that up next up we have an ariel diaz world tree issue number three it's just a nice nice little exclusive here from ariel diaz she does incredible work follow her on instagram we have a signed copy of carmen number one by david nakayama this is a san diego comic-con exclusive is it okay it's either sdcc or nycc <laughs> for when carmen dropped image uh, great series. I really, really enjoyed it. Gillum March did a lot of the covers for this book, I believe, was also in the uh, interiors. Can't quite remember, but it was a very, very interesting story. I, I highly suggest checking it out if you're a reader. <laughs> and last but not least, this is one of the hottest books in 2021. Um, that was a variant. And again, buy two, get one free. We got this on a discount. So just happy to own it because I am the variant guy. And I didn't buy it on release when it came out. But this is King in Black, Gwenham, Carnage, number one. The Inhyuk Lee, one in 25. That is the, uh, that Gwenham with the Carnage symbiote over it in the 9-8, man. Just an awesome Inhyuk Lee if you enjoy Lee's artwork. Just trying not to get so much of the glare on there. But for a long time, that book was high. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's probably not going to sustain a lot of value going forward. But just as a tough to find, at principle, being a tough to find variant, it's in my wheelhouse. So glad to have that. Let us continue with some. Where is this from? I don't know. It's one of the exclusives. Something's killing the children. Is it issue 32? Is it issue 34? Not sure. Jay and Akleto there. Virgin variant. Then we got the Lobos exclusive here i think this is definitely 616 if i'm not mistaken so we also got the uh the foil as well next up the uh, ivan tal 
Harley black, white, and red are number one. So I emailed these guys and they're like, oh, sorry, yeah, we'll send these out. So I should have got these books maybe a couple weeks ago, but it's been a little while holding them. So, and the minimal trade dress, different from Ivan Tao. Usually Ivan Tao has, a, everything kind of looks the same. These ones are a little bit unique because her mouth is open and, and cackling. So very different take. Love it. Um, I guess I got doubles of this one, the Carla Cohen action here. On that Red Sonia, number one. Oh man, they had Sean Kemp in the crowd at Wrestle Dream. That's big. Seattle legend. That's pretty cool. Marco Torini. So this one will probably these two next to an Ivan Tal. Again, when you look at this towel, you can tell it's Ivan Tal, right? So those exclusives are up for grabs. I will put those up on the store, I believe. Or out at the at the next show that I attend. I'm trying to get into the clandestine show in, on the 22nd. So I yeah, get an email out. This is uh, Justice or Power Girl, excuse me, Action Comics 1056. Um, originally, this is the Power Girl special number one. No, 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 excuse me. Justice Society of America number two. They had a trade and a version of this. And now this is the foil of this same cover for um, Action 1056. Because Carla Cohen did some exclusives for that. Just beautiful Cohen exclusives. Glad to have another collection. Cohen is in the top 10 right now. Some Zerdy goodness. I know a lot of y'all like the Zerdy stuff. Not the biggest fan of these tattoo covers, but we added it in because you know how 616, the Trinity over there, street level heroes, they love to do their sales or buy two, get one free. It's so every time they try to do a buy two, get two free, buy three, get three free, I always try to capitalize. Right now, they're going through their seventh anniversary bash. So if you're into variants, I know there's a lot of them, but the artwork is good. Uh, they're doing a buy three, get four free. So that that's pretty cool. Of course, all the uh, the big, big exclusives that they like push are sold out, but they, they definitely have a lot of back stock for you to choose from. So, and then there's another Zerdy on Harley 31 there. Just good artwork, man. And then uh, finished up with these last three here again with more Zerdy. These are exclusives for X Men 101. The death, was it the death of Jean Grey, right? The birth of the Phoenix or the death of Phoenix? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all are going to roast me, man. And then this one is the coolest one. Um, they, they've been doing these. You can buy these uh, at LCSs, but this one in particular was an exclusive online. So they foil 101 treatment there. I think it's kind of cool. I'm glad to have it added to the collection. I don't actually own an original 101, so that is on the list to get. Not high on the wish list, but it is a classic blue chip key to own. So that'll do it for this video. Still got a ton more to show you guys. Did my rant on uh, the Bird City Slab. Love those guys. So hopefully we hear back from them. And yeah, well, this week, uh, check out the Instagram. There'll be a lot more posts going forward as much as I can. I love showing content, providing content for you guys. If anyone's looking for anyone to just babble, babble, you know there's a ton of comic book podcasts out there. These guys go for two to three hours. Want me to talk about my history with variants or just the industry in general i'd be happy to add my perspective i spent three years working in the lcs managing the lcs uh so it's been a while it's been over a decade so a lot of things have changed of course but still getting my foot in the door and understanding how it works has always has kind of propelled me into being able to talk about this and just having that knowledge base right a lot of people don't have that a lot of people don't know what they're talking about for whatever reason i retain all this stuff in my head <laughs> It's just fun for me. So I love being a pop culture guru. Um, I can't know it all, of course, uh, but I feel like I, I do have a pretty extensive knowledge base here. So I'm going to stop talking. Thank you so much for tuning in the video. Do that. All that great social media stuff, guys. Check out the website. More books will be posted throughout the week. Love you. Bagging boredom. Enter the vault.